Hey guys, I'm about to pack up my car to go to Ocala National Forest for the week. And my car's completely empty. All my gear is packed nicely and neatly outside of my car. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to just show you how I'm packing my car. I just got a cargo box for the top of my car. And so I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going to go in that compared to what's going to go in my car. Because ideally, um, there won't be a lot of stuff in my car. So that way I feel like it's less likely to get broken into and stolen if I'm on a hike or something like that. Um, so I kind of want my car to be mostly empty and I'm thinking that the cooler and maybe a few other things are gonna go in the car. So we'll see. So this is all the stuff that I am bringing with me on my little car camping trip. The car is pretty much empty and um, ready to be packed up. So this is what the car looks like with nothing in it and the seats folded flat. Um, I put both seats down when I make my bed at night. And I just fill this hole with a blanket. And it's long enough and nice and spacious and cozy. So... Then my feet actually end up going in here. So I'm going to clean this out really quick before I load it up. See a bunch of stuff put in here. Not sure all this is going to fit, but yeah, definitely probably not these. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The box isn't as spacious as I thought. <laughs> oh, I still have all this stuff. So I realized I can put my shoes and my toiletries bag next to the tire. Okay, so food bag, cooler. I need to like organize this, but it's gonna be the dishes, computer, books, and um, cords and electronic things. Stove, well, big stove, and shades. So I got this cast iron skillet because I left the pan that I brought from my house at my friend's house in LA. <sighs> so I have that to cook like hopefully bigger meals on. This will be like so I can cook rice for the meal like mostly curry and stir fries what I like to make. And then this one is for my coffee which has my little camping stove inside it to go with this fuel. And this fuel is for the stove. So I have a daily toiletries bag. And I think I'm just going to put it in here. Oh. There's like my headlamps in there. Some candy. <laughs> and obviously paperwork. So I'm finally all packed up. But it's like 2 o'clock. And I think I'm just going to spend one more night here at my sister's house before heading out tomorrow. I don't have a campsite booked, like reserved, so there's no rush, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is what the car looks like, pretty clean. I can actually shut that, even though it looks like it won't be able to be shut. And yeah, I'll probably bring a few things inside and then I'll leave tomorrow. upon this campsite off a canal that is off the St. John's River in 
North Florida. And it just so happens that the campsite is right off the Florida Trail. So I was like, oh, I may as well do a little hike on the Florida Trail. This is cool. Um, even though I lived in Florida for so long, I never really spent time um, doing too much backpacking in Florida. And the Florida Trail never really appealed to me. But now that I spent the last few weeks in Orlando and just get connecting with nature in Orlando, I am more drawn to uh, the nature of the Florida Trail and wondering if I should ever do it someday. My turnaround point. I think it was like four miles or so. So now I'm just going back, same path, back to my car. This is what it looks like before I set up my bed from the back seat. It's kind of messy up here now.
Good morning. I'm making coffee and then I'm gonna read and journal and relax. It's so early, it's really dark outside. I put my shades up on one side last night where there was a lot of a few lights like um in this like kind of maintenance area that's across this canal that I'm camped right next to. Um, but I left the other shades off and I just put the shades up as I started, um, being in here with the light on this morning. Yeah, um, here's what my view looks like. I put this cotton bag around my headlamp to kind of make a little light. This is the book I'm going to read. Um, I read it like 10 years ago. I just finished um, a book by Henry Nouwen, and Thomas Merton was um, someone that inspired Henry Nouwen, so I thought it'd be nice to dig into what he has to say. Like sitting, kind of leaning on some things. Here's my desk. <laughs> That I made from a cutting board. <laughs> and my little coffee setup and my legs. My legs are just curled up here on my feet. And then my sleeping bag. Mm-hmm. Back that you and I are working here today. <laughs> little bird keeps um, coming over to my car window and sitting on my little side mirrors and looking in the window and trying to fly in and I don't know I like to think that there's a special reason why this little bird keeps visiting me but it could just be that campers feed her and she's looking for food <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Hi. How pretty, how beautiful, what's happening? <gasps> what is it? Are we friends? <sighs> so the time has come for me to pack up my morning time. It's already eight and I am going to put away my bed and get dressed for the day and then leave for my walk. And so, yeah, it's been a really nice, peaceful morning. Um, like I said, the time really flew by and I'm not really ready, but I think I'm also, yeah, ready. <laughs> so going to pack up now. <sighs> so here's the car when it's all packed up. A little bin of trash. This pillow that makes me feel cozy. <laughs> this cute little wreath. And I'm charging my headlamp battery. It started to die this morning. And then in the back seat, this bin here has paper towels, Ziplocs, wipes, toilet paper. And Here's my day pack, um, just ready to go for a hike. Shoes, more shoes, sweater. And then if we come to the back, look at that blue sky reflecting in the window. This is my food bag. Um, pajamas and like extra sweaters 
I wanted to keep this loose instead of tucked away tight because it's nice to just throw it on the ground and do stretches and stuff like that. So here's that. Uh, this is electronics and books. My window shades, my big stove. Um, my cookware and dishes. And um, backpacking stove and pots and things like that. This is just my cooler where I made stir fry at my sister's house, so I'll be eating that for the next few days so I don't really have to cook. This is for my coffee and tea. Drink off of that all day. And then I just throw these little on my leftovers or maybe, maybe scramble with it later. Um, yeah, so this is all packed up. I guess I can show you what's in here, so. Ooh. So this is a backpacking bag that um, I got on sale randomly just to have an extra backpack. But it has clothes in there, sweater, coat, towels in there. This is all my um, bedding and backpacking stuff, trekking poles, boots, battery, random hair ties, and then socks. So lots of junk I probably don't need, but nice to have. So it's about 9 a.m. Um, the car's all packed up and I was thinking I was going to go for a walk as soon as I was packed up, but now I'm not sure. Um, I kind of feel like going for a drive and finding somewhere else to go for a walk. It's nice because I feel like I can come back to this spot, but I don't necessarily have to stay. And some of the people that were around that made me feel really comfortable have left. So now I feel like, hmm what to do. I need to do some work on my computer. I'm taking my sister and a couple of her friends backpacking, or not backpacking, just camping for one night, but I was kind of thinking that maybe I should take this opportunity to, like, see if I could, like, lead some kind of retreats. I've taken so many of my friends backpacking. I think I've taken maybe seven or eight people on their very first backpacking trips. And they have since been able to go on backpacking trips themselves, which is awesome. And so I really love getting people into nature and the idea of female empowerment through wilderness experiences and wilderness skills. And then also just like self-reflection and spending time with our inner selves and creating space for that. So I might do some research on what it would mean to lead a feminine female empowerment retreat and as I'm doing all this camping right now um, different friends are coming along and like I don't know just try to learn what else I could do to create a really good experience that people need that people want um, when going into the wilderness so I'm going to do some research on that. I need to create a camping list for them and um, yeah, just some other little things. Okay, more later.